Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. In this uh, unexpected courage video series, I will be delving into limited card pool deck building with uh, only using two core sets and maybe later a um, deluxe box expansion to showcase that you necessarily don't need the whole collection to play this game and as we all know uh, there are difficulties to get a hold of a whole cycle of a campaign so uh, this way I'll showcase that you don't need to necessarily play the whole campaign while you are hunting down the uh, mythos packs and uh, cards for the whole cycle so you could just uh, play the deluxe box or the core box scenarios while you're trying to find cards for a whole cycle. So without more talk I decided to start this series by playing Daisy Walker through the gathering scenario. Uh, I will be playing this scenario with the straight out of the box uh, scenario from the core set no return to versions added and I will be only using uh, core set cards times two so I'm working with two core sets which I recommend everybody to get who will start playing uh, Arkham Horror the card game so let's look at Daisy's deck first I built the deck as a really efficient investigating deck but also with some ways to fight enemies when needed so there are a couple of shrivelings in the deck to help me fight and to, because there's only the shrivelings as uh, attack spells I added arcane initiates uh, so I can fetch the spells faster or start looking for the spells faster if I pull the initiate but not the shriveling uh, of course Daisy's uh, willpower is not that great, it's only 3, so I also added a couple of guts for those uh, tests that really need an uh, extra couple of icons of willpower. Of course there is Mind Over Matter, which is a staple fighting card for Seekers, so I can use my uh, higher intellect instead of a fight or evade or agility and of course unexpected courage is a staple card when you don't have a large card pool to play with so there are two copies of that uh, there is only one tome and daisy likes tomes so i want to find the tome fast so i added two research librarians also into the deck and other than that, quite a usual deck using two core sets, nothing fancy or anything like that, just efficient clue gathering and some ways to fight when needed to. Uh, as a pumping mechanic I added uh, arcane studies to be able to pump willpower and intellect when needed. I think uh, having the Seeker version of that pump uh, asset is not that good because uh, Daisy's fight and evade or agility is so low that you should have to use so much resources to pump them to a good level. But that's basically uh, enough of the deck. Uh, let's go to the scenario. I am playing the gathering and we are starting in the study. So nothing special about that. We need two clues to advance, so uh, let's hop into the game and get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks and I didn't mention that I am playing these games in standard difficulty. So we have the standard pack set up and we find Research Librarian, uh, Mind Over Matter, 
Dr. Milan Christopher, Emergence Cash and Arcane Studies. Uh, I prefer, oh yeah, and I am not using the taboo list because most of the taboo cards require quite a lot of um, different mythos packs and stuff like that, so I decided to play without the taboo. So I'll, play, I'll be playing everything as uh, on the cards written, no taboo lists used. Uh, I think I'm keeping Dr. Milan Christopher. It's a really efficient static uh, intellect boost. I'll also keep Mind Over Matter just in case. And uh, I think because we get Dr. Milan Christopher, we don't need anything else. So I'm mulliganing these three. And we get Shriveling, uh, Arcane Initiate, and Unexpected Courage. So quite. Uh, decent start right away. The Arcane Initiate is not that useful, but uh, I can... Uh, not that useful because I have the Shriveling in hand, but uh, I can commit it uh, as a will icon for uh, Shriveling later, so not complaining about that. Okay, so uh, first action we are playing uh, Dr. Milan Christopher. He costs four resources. And I won't play anything else. I'll just start investigating here. So I'm investigating uh, six versus two. So basically, only the auto fail will fail us these investigation checks. And it's a tablet, and tablet is minus two if there is gold minion enemy at your location, take one damage, there isn't, so we just grab a clue and we gain a resource from Dr. Milan Christopher and last action I'll just investigate again so we can immediately advance the act but it is the auto fail, so unfortunately we have to wait until next turn to advance the act uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep we draw a card, we gain a resource we find the magnifying uh, glass, so we could play that next turn to even more boost our uh, intellect. But that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So the first encounter card of the game is uh, Grasping Hands. Uh, Test Agility 3 for each point you fail by take 1 damage. I really don't want to take that much damage right at the start of the scenario. So mm, I think I'm committing the unexpected courage to this test. And it's a skull. Uh, skull is minus X. X is the number of cool enemies at your location, which is zero. So we pass the grasping hands test and take no damage. That is really good. First action, I'll just, in case we run into enemies or something like that, I'll play down the shriveling. And it uh, comes into play with four charges. Second action, we'll investigate. I'm using uh, Dr. Milan Christopher. It's a minus two, so we pass, and uh, I'll get one resource, and as a fast action, I'll just quickly play down the uh, magnifying glass, and we'll use the two clues to advance, so we are trapped, but no more, so uh, put into play the set aside hallway, cellar, attic, and parlor. Hallway. I'll put it like the cellar, attic, and parlor. Then, 
discard each enemy in the study, uh, place each investigator in the hallway, and remove the study from the game. And we reveal the hallway. And it's a one shot location with zero clues, so we need to head up to the attic or down to the cellar. And then we have the act two, the barrier objective. When the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend the required number of clues to advance. And we need three clues to advance, so we need to gather clues somewhere else. We still have one action left, uh, so I think I will head. Uh, let's go to the cellar first. So, cellar, there is a shroud of four, two clues. After you enter the cellar, take one damage, and we'll put the damage on ourselves. And that is our turn, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw another card, we get an unexpected courage, and we gain a resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. And come, uh, we <laughs> forgot to add a doom last turn, we'll add it now. And uh, we'll add another doom, so two of three doom. Encounter card is obscuring fog, so obscuring fog comes into play into our location. This is not that good because now the shroud is six and uh, we need to succeed to get rid of that. So let's see, I think we are just investigating and committing the unexpected courage. So I am investigating uh, nine, so five, six, seven, eight, nine versus six. It's a zero, so we pass, we get a clue, and the obscuring fog is discarded, and we get the resource with Milan Christopher. Second action, we'll investigate again. Uh, now we are seven versus four, and it's a skull, it's a zero. We grab this clue. And last action, let's move back to the hallway. So next turn we can head into the attic. And no enemies still, we go to upkeep. We draw another Dr. Milan Christopher. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, the agenda is advancing. We add the third doom on it. So, a lapse in time. The lead investigator must decide choose one either each investigator discard one card at random from their hand, or the lead investigator takes two horror. And I have plenty of horror, so, so I'll put one on Dr. Miran, Christopher, and one on Daisy. So that is just fine. And encounter card is uh, rotting remains, so we'll power three. I think I'm fine taking more horror. So, testing theory, uh, 3 versus 3, not committing anything to this test. It's a 0, so we pass. So, lucky we did. Now we have 3 actions to get one more clue. Uh, I'll move up to the attic. Attic is a one shot location with 2 clues. Uh, forced after you enter attic, take one horror, I'll take one horror and start investigating. So first uh, investigate, uh, 7 versus 1, it's a 0. And uh, just to get all of the uh, victory points, I'll try to investigate a second time and it's an auto fail so unfortunately we don't get that last clue this turn but maybe next turn uh, no enemy still uh, we go to upkeep we draw guts which is really good when we need the shriveling and we gain one resource 
So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. So one of seven. Encounter card is Flesh Eater, Spawn Attic. So it spawns on us. Well, that is uh, annoying. But we could kill that and get some victory points. So maybe we'll try that or not. Um, okay, well, the Flesh Eater uh, engages us. We have to deal with it some way. We have some options. So the Flesh Eater is uh, 4 fight, 4 health and 1 evade. Humanoid monster ghoul, spawn attic, and uh, hits for 1 damage and 2 horror, and victory 1. I think we are saving our shriveling for the end of the scenario. So we'll just uh, use one resource to play mind over matter. So my uh, agility is... Or actually let's just try to evade Evade it. Oh, not too well. So first action, evade. Uh, reason is because we have uh, six tokens in the back that succeed to the skulls and zeros and plus one and elder sign. And we hit the zero, so we... Uh, oh, yeah, and minus one's two, so we evade this guy. So it is evaded. Second action will investigate. Minus one, I uh, will grab this clue. Last action will go down to the hallway. And uh, when the round ends we can advance. So I think we are set up to fight the cool priest next turn. Possibly. Who knows? Uh, no enemy actions. We go to upkeep. This guy ready is in the attic. Uh, we'll gain a card. We get another guts. Really nice. And we gain one resource. And we forgot to gain one resource from investigating it successfully. And then at the end of the round, we'll spend the three clues. So, breaking the barrier. The barrier blocking passage into the parlor has vanished. Reveal the parlor. So now we can move into the parlor. Put the set aside little chandler into play in the parlor. Let's do that. Then spawn the set aside cool priest in the hallway. So the cool priest comes into play. So engage with us, so just put it there. And that is that. Then we have what have you done? Objective if the cool priest is in is defeated, advance. Okay, well, I think we have a clear uh, Goal next turn to shrivel the ghoul cool priest to death, but uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add doom. Encounter card for this turn is Crypt Chill. So I'm just testing because I can just lose my magnifying glass, so the Crypt Chill doesn't uh, really matter for us. So, it's an Elder Sign. I don't have any Tomes in play, so I don't draw any cards, but uh, we fail this uh, still because it's a zero. So we lose the Magnifying Glass, which is just okay. Then, uh, let's look at the Ghoul Priest. Ghoul Priest is the main baddie of the core set. So it's a four fight, well, main baddie of the gathering scenario. Uh, four fight, five health, four evade. 
humanoid monster ghoul elite, prey highest combat, hunter retaliate victory point two, and uh, uh, our goal is to defeat the ghoul priest. So I think uh, first action we'll shrivel. I'll commit guts to the test and also arcane initiate. So I'm shriveling 6 versus 4. And it's the elder sign. So we hit, we deal 2 damage. Second action, we'll shrivel again. I'll commit the other guts. So we are shriveling 5 versus 4. And it's a 0. So we deal another two, two damage to the gold priest. Last action. Uh, as a fast action, I'll play Mind Over Matter. So my combat is now uh, six. So I will be just punching for six damage. So uh, six versus four to kill off the gold priest. So it's a minus two, so we hit, and the ghoul priest is defeated. So, defending the home. The lead investigator must decide. So, after we kill the ghoul priest, we have a de decision to either burn down the house, or we are not burning down the house, but either way, we defeated the cool priest and won the scenario, so we can read the resolution. Uh, just if you haven't played this and are watching this so, uh, the first time anyone playing the gathering, uh, I won't read the resolution, so the story keeps um, uh, at least a bit of its secrecy. But that is basically the gathering, playing only with two core sets with Daisy Walker, so hope you guys like this playthrough and uh, I will be doing a playthrough of all of the different campaigns, so I will build a deck only using two core sets and the campaign deluxe box cards and using an investigator from that deluxe box. So if you have any suggestions on which uh, character or investigator to use in any campaign or, or any playthrough, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time.